Hey crew, so I'm up in Brisbane, which is my hometown, and I'm at a little area of trails out the north side of Brisbane called Ironbark Gully. It's an area I've known well, I've ridden it for many, many years, and it's a great little area to ride. And the weather's good too. Fortunately, while I've been up here, um, I've been lent uh, a bike uh, courtesy of Ashgrove Cycles, uh, obviously uh, in Ashgrove, in, uh, uh, in Brisbane itself. Um, and the bike that I've been lent is this bike here, which is a 2021 Giant Trans X29er. So I decided uh, while I was out here doing a bit of a ride, I'd do a bit of a bike review on it for everyone. Um, just give them an insight of what some of the 2021 models are actually like. So uh, as always, sit back, grab yourself a frothy one, and uh, enjoy the ride. So this bike itself is a large, which for me is a tad too small. I prefer something a little bit longer in the cockpit, uh, something a little bit longer at top, top tube. Having said that, it does suit me at a pinch and I'm, uh, I'm a little over 6'2", uh, and I have uh, reasonably long legs for my size too. So even technically climbing with the rear shock in its climbing or almost locked out position depending on what type of pressure you have in the tyres. Still pretty easy, not a hassle. If you're worried about getting over obstacles, switch it back to that middle trail trail position and you just cruise over stuff really easily. But uh, climbing the technical stuff, climbing the single track, not an issue. Nice and easy. Bike turns well, balanced well, gets through the corners well. Uh, no issues with the length of the, the wheel wheelbase, so no problems there. Bike climbs quite well and climbs over everything pretty good. These new shocks on these bikes these days with the lockout or the climbing setting I guess you'd call it, makes uh, fire road climbing a bit of a breeze. So when you're climbing on a fire ride like this, uh, both in the saddle and uh, upping the gears and getting out of the saddle. Bikes climb really well. Uh, obviously, with the weight restriction compared to a cross-country bike, obviously a little heavier, uh, but you can still go out and club race this in a cross-country race, no worries. So we're about to descend one of, uh, one of the uh, flow tracks out here on Bart, called the Combi Track. This is a really good time, so we'll give this suspension and stuff a really good test out. Pretty dry out here. A good fun to ride still anyway. Not really used to the loose gravel stuff compared to Adelaide. Depending on tyre pressure, caught as well in the gravel, in the loose gravel. Handles everything with ease, very, very predictable. Doesn't throw the back end up radically. Handles these quick direction changes really well. The 524 pots are really good. 
with a 203 on the front and a 180 mil on the rear, no issues with braking. Nice and predictable when you get into a drift. Bike handles really well. Nice and stable in the air. Does the little gaps nicely, not an issue. Predictable in the air. Doesn't want to throw you over the bars or anything radical. Great through the tight stuff, good fun playful bike. Good through the rocks, even on the trail setting. The giant saddle is quite uncomfortable compared to my SQ Lab saddle. Uh, also, the fact that the KMC chain is on there, except for uh, a Shimano chain. No biggie, but Shimano chain would have been nice. The MRP chain device is a really nice uh, feature on the bike, as well as the fact that the bike's tubeless, ready to go out of the box. Well done, Giant. So how was it? Well, for a four and a half grand bike, at this price point, with an almost fully uh, equipped Shimano bike, um, it's really good value. Um, if you're a bit of a fan of Giant, uh, and you're in the local Brisbane area, I re really recommend getting into Giant Ashgrove and uh, nailing yourselves one of these quick because they're probably going to go pretty fast. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, stay safe on the trails.